three methods of meditation. The Buddha taught 84,000 different ways to tame and pacify the negative emotions. And in Buddhism, there are countless methods of meditation. I have found three meditation techniques that are particularly effective in the modern world and that anyone can practice and benefit from. They are using an object, reciting a mantra, and watching the breath. Using an object. The first method is to rest the mind lightly on an object. You can use an object of natural beauty that evokes a special feeling of inspiration for you, such as a flower or crystal. But something that embodies the truth, such as an image of Buddha or Christ, or particularly your master, is even more powerful. Your master is your living link with the truth. And because of your personal connection to your master, just seeing his or her face connects you to the inspiration and truth of your own nature. Many people have found a particular connection with the picture of the statue of Padma Sambhava called Looks Like Me, which was made from life and blessed by him in the 8th century in Tibet. Padma Sambhava, by the enormous power of his spiritual personality, brought the teachings of Buddha to Tibet. He is known as the second Buddha and affectionately called Guru Rinpoche, meaning precious master by the Tibetan people. Dilgo Kense Rinpoche said, there have been many incredible and incomparable masters from the noble land of India and Tibet, the land of snows. Yet of them all, the one who has the greatest compassion and blessing toward beings in this difficult age is Padma Sampava, who embodies the compassion and wisdom of all the Buddhas. Padma Sambhava looks like me. Padma Sambhava, the precious master, Guru Rinpoche, is the founder of Tibetan Buddhism and the Buddha of our time. It is believed that on seeing this statue at Samya in Tibet, where it was made in the 8th century, he remarked, it looks like me, and then blessed it saying, now it is the same as me. One of his qualities is that he has the power to give his blessings instantly to whoever prays to him. And whatever we may pray for, he has the power to grant our wish immediately. Inspired by this, fix a copy of this picture at your eye level and lightly set your attention on his face, especially on the gaze of his eyes. There is a deep stillness in the immediacy of that gaze, which almost bursts out of the photo to carry you into a state of awareness without clinging, the state of meditation. Then leave your mind quietly at peace with Padma Sambhava.